I love you always. That night, the little cat just couldn't fall asleep. Daddy, do you always love me? He asked suddenly. Always, replied Daddy Cat. Even when I don't want to go to bed, Little Cat doubted. Even when you don't want to go to bed, Daddy Cat said firmly. I love you when you're asleep. And when you wake up. I love you when you behave. And when you don't. I love you when you eat well. And when you don't want to eat. I love you when you're having fun. And when you're sad. I love you when you're brave. And when you're afraid. I love you even when I get upset. And when you get upset. I love you when you're learning. And when you do things your own way. I love you when we're together. And when you're on your own. I love you when you help others and when you need help. I love you when you're good at something and when you're not so good. I love you when we're talking and when we're quiet. I love you always. La la book. <laughs> Big sloppy. Written by Daria Cherkashna. Illustrated by Elena Mirlenka. Little Sloppy really wanted to be big. He climbed on a stool with no safety net. The cap that he wore was bigger than his head. Even stretched on a branch from side to side. In Mom's wedges, he tried to stride. Reading the newspaper with Dad's big glasses on and learn to fly in his dreams till the break of dawn. He watered himself drop by drop, applied for a job and wouldn't stop. He jumped so long that his head would ring, ouch. Then ate all the protein that eggs could bring. But somehow, Little Sloppy still wasn't growing any bigger. One night, he looked at the wall and saw a big Sloppy. Mama, is this me when I grow up? No, this is just your shadow. My shadow? But how can something so big be a part of me? There are so many different things in you. Noodles, pancakes, and a toast with ham. 
Grandma's special strawberry jam. And the sweetest afternoon sleepyhead. Who will wear his nightcap when it's time for bed? The clingiest hiccups in the world. The loudest note living in your throat. You have millions of questions about the wide open world. Why don't the stars Why am I not a bird? Why is the soup without candies? Why is the rain so loud? And the happiest laughs to ever be heard. <laughs> With a heart as big as the sky above. And an ocean of my love. That's how many things lived inside Sloppy. Which means he was already big. But he kept flying in his dreams just in case. What are tights afraid of? Written by Anastasia Bezludnaya, illustrated by Marat Simikov. In a big dresser, there lived a pair of tights. The tights were new, blue, with tiny white boats on the sides. The tights were cowards. They were afraid of every little thing. They were winter tights, so they were afraid that a snake would crawl into them and make a lair. Scary. The tights were stretchy, so they were afraid that a dinosaur would put them on and tear them up with sharp claws. Scary. The tights had two long legs, so they were afraid to be put on someone's head and made into bunny ears. Scary! The tights were clean, so they were afraid to get dirty and look like two worms. Scary! The tights were afraid that a moth would eat them for a lunch. Scary! One day, a little boy opened the drawer. It was Tom. He didn't have sharp claws, just two warm little legs. Tom put on the tights and went for a walk. They climbed a tall slime and went down bravely. They swung on swings up above the treetops. And they even jumped in dirty puddles. Whoa! The world around is so exciting and not scary at all. After the walk, and when the tights were all dirty, Mommy put them into the washing machine. She pressed a button, and the tights started to swirl and whirl. We are fish, said the tights as they played tag with t-shirts and trunks. Later, Mommy took the tights out and hung them up to dry between Daddy's tie and towel. We are birds, the tights cheered and flapped their blue wings. At night, Mommy folded the tights on a chair next to Tom's bed. The tights were not afraid anymore. As they fell asleep, they were thinking about how awesome tomorrow was going to be. The end.
la la book. <laughs> a rainbow on the plate. Written by Yekaterina Zimlinichkina. Illustrated by Yekaterina Zayakina. Mom is making porridge for Danny and Annie. Gloop, gloop, gloop. The milk is boiling. We're going to have porridge for breakfast. With raspberries, red raspberries. Danny ate raspberries. Annie ate raspberries. Danny ate raspberries. Annie ate raspberries. But they did not eat the cream of wheat porridge. They were off to play. Mom is making soup for Danny and Annie. Clop, clop, clop. The broth is boiling. And now to boil orange carrots, yellow pepper, and green peas. Danny ate carrots. Annie ate carrots. Danny ate the pepper. Annie ate the peas. But they did not drink the broth and were off to play. For their afternoon snack, Danny and Annie have yogurt. White yogurt? No, not white. Blue and indigo with blueberries and prunes. A spoonful for Danny and a spoonful for Annie. A spoonful for Annie, a spoonful for Danny. Mmm, delicious! They finished it all and were off to dance. Mom is rinsing the grapes. Gosh, the tap water is running. The grapes are sweet and purple. A berry for Danny and a berry for Annie. A berry for Annie, a berry for Danny. They ate them all and were off to draw. What shall they draw? A card for mom. They drew a plate, a round one. And on top of it, raspberry, red, carrot, orange, pepper, yellow, pea, green, blueberry, blue, fruit, indigo, grape, purple. Wow! That's a rainbow! A rainbow on the plate! Thanks, Mom! La La Book! <laughs> My Friend Darkness Written by Alex Shurishev Illustrated by Mary Kalesse my mom told me that before I was born, I used to live in her tummy. It was very dark there, but it was very fun, so I was dancing all the time. That's how I became friends with darkness. Now, darkness comes to every one of my birthdays. My favorite moment is when the lights are off and there is a cake with candles. You have to blow out the candles to make it dark again. Darkness lives in boxes, cabinets, and refrigerators. Darkness and cold takes care of our food. In the darkest spots of our home, my parents hide presents. I love winter and Christmas. The nights are long and dark. There are fairy lights in the street. And at home we have a Christmas tree. Even Santa likes darkness and comes out at night. I love to play in the dark. Even in the daytime, the best hiding spot is a dark wardrobe. Can you spot where I'm hiding? Here's a clue. Look for a pair of socks. In the dark, it's fun to shine a flashlight and make faces at each other. And tell stories. I love cartoons at the movie theater. It's very dark in there. And you can only whisper. 
It's dark at the theater, at the circus, and sometimes even at the zoo. Because some animals don't like bright light, like snails, frogs, or lemurs. It is only at night that the stars light up in the sky. On the darkest night, you might see a shooting star. Make a wish, it will come true. Look, look, there goes a shooting star. Did you make a wish? And of course, the most beautiful and colorful fireworks can only be seen in the dark. Wow, it's bright. I need my sunglasses quick. Now I can make it dark even on a bright and sunny day. Even without sunglasses, you can call darkness anytime. Just close your eyes. Boom! And now it's dark. Now cover your eyes with your hands. Whoa! Now it's even darker! And if you hide under the blanket, then it gets... super duper dark! But the most powerful magic of darkness are the dreams. The best dreams come in the darkest of darkness. You can dream about eating a cake with a spoon or riding in a spaceship. Ready to see those dreams? Call darkness. Now you know how to be friends with it. Sweet dreams.